There are a lot of formulas that help you with percentages. I always use what I call the open formula because it looks like the word open. There are many ver versions of this formula too because there are different ways of thinking about percentages. But in this particular case, we are being asked to take a percentage of something. So this is the most basic kind of percentage we could be asked. So we also use the more basic version, the one I've kind of written here. So just to remind you of what this means, the O stands for the original amount, kind of our base value. The P stands for the percentage. Now that's going to be written as a decimal, so we'll get to that in a second. And then N stands for the new value. So we're given those things. 13 is P percent of 25. So the 25 is our base value. That's our original. Okay, that's it's of 25, right? 13 is what percent of 25? The 25 is kind of our starting point. So we're, we're gonna solve for P, right? 25 P is equal to 13. And then we just divide both sides by 25 to get that. So we're gonna get that P is equal to, grab your calculator, 13 divided by 25 is 0 0.52. But remember, that is the percentage given as a decimal. That's how we typically work with percentages when we do calculations. But we want to convert back because the way we talk about percentages is different. So this is actually 52%. And that's the way that they want us to answer this, right? So pay attention to the question. Sometimes they do ask for the decimal version because of the story or whatever. But here they want it as a percentage, right? And you can test it out by plugging the number that you solve back into the question and seeing if it makes sense, right? If I've said 13 is 0.52% of 25, hopefully that would just sound crazy to you, right? 13 is approximately half of 25. But 0.52% is a really, really small percentage of something. So we know we, we want to say it in a different way. We want to say, okay, 30, 13 is 52% of 25. So 52 is your answer here. Lots of different ways that they could ask about percentages, but you'll see me always using that same formula, the open formula, because it's the best way for me to kind of solve the way the SAT asks percentage questions, which are notoriously tricky, maybe not in this case, but certainly in other cases.